Hello, I'm Steve Jasowski with York Repair. Today we're going to provide an overview of basic nameplate information on the Indermat servo motor. We'll be focusing on the MHD series. Now let's go to our head servo technician, Jason, who will provide us with an in-depth explanation. Hello, I'm Jason Midock, head servo technician at York Repair, and I'm here today to discuss Indermat servo motors. We'll be focusing on the MHD series and we'll begin with the second position on the nameplate. This position designates physical motor size, height, and width. The third position indicates physical length of the motor, defined by A, B, C, and D codes. Moving on to the fourth position, we have winding designations. These positions are specific to RPM. The fifth position designates motor feedbacks, where N is a digital servo feedback, and P is a digital servo feedback with integral multi-turn absolute encoder. Next we have our sixth position which indicates shaft options where G is a plane shaft and P is a shaft with a keyway. Our seventh position relates to brake options on the motor where zero is without brake, one is a 20 newton meter brake, and three is a 70 newton meter brake. Now we have our eighth position detailing power connector orientation a, power connector points towards the shaft. B, power connector points towards the opposite of the shaft. R, points right. And L, points left, designated by looking onto the motor shaft connector housing on top. Finally, we have our ninth position, which designates housing type, where N signifies natural convection and surface cooling. This completes our overview of the MHD series servo motor. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. On behalf of York Repair and myself, thank you for viewing this video. If you have any further questions regarding anything seen in this video, please give us a call. Thank you.